Hi guys, today I'm going to be reviewing my 3D printer. At first I didn't know what type of printer to buy, so I started online and I started looking and researching. And I decided MakerBot and some of the high-end printers I just didn't want. One thing they were too expensive and one thing I just didn't know if I would really like it or not. So I then I decided about two years ago that I just put it away and I forgot about it for a while. Then I decided to bring it back up and start researching it again. And I asked a few people online what they wanted and what they liked from some of the models that they were making and they referred me to this. And I was looking at eBay and I didn't see very many that, I re that really stuck out to me. A lot of them are painted black but are wood. Uh, and I didn't I would would have been okay, but I didn't really want wood It was just a kit and it just looked really hard and if you didn't paint it black It was all wood looking so you had to paint it, but it just it was a lot of work the other plastic ones plastic frames like right up here uh, those were plastic and people said that they could break and and they could crack easily so I didn't really want that one and I was worried about buying something from eBay or something that it's Chinese stuff and they don't have very good directions and stuff so I didn't really want that either um, and I was worried that I would build this thing I wouldn't know how to use it or I, w I wouldn't even know how to put it together because at, at the time it seemed kind of complex and kind of uh, mind-blowing on how this all worked and you know there was a learning curve on it too so I just didn't I wanted to do everything uh, that I could at the same time I wanted to build a printer. I didn't want to buy one, plug it in, and er, push the button and go. I kind of wanted to build one too. I like that avenue and I like I like printers that you can build onto each other and that you can improve and you don't have to have an actual company to uh, print your parts for you. You can actually print yourself. So that's one of the things that I liked about this. And that was basically, basically it. Um, now this company is great they help you out so much if you have any questions they're right there and that's one thing that I really liked about it right now um, that they're they're super good and that's one thing why I'm putting this video out basically is just because uh, hands down if you're considering a 3d printer uh, please consider this one because uh, the printer is great uh, I can't find anything wrong with it the manual's awesome, everything is great on it, and the support is awesome too, and that's one thing that's very nice about it, and I like, and I'm glad that it helped me out, because there's some things that sometimes you just need to know, and, and if you're buying something from eBay, you really can't uh, get any support off of eBay or from somebody from Hong Kong or China. Um, so this worked out really well. Uh, and uh, I'll just kind of change subjects really quick. Now this is a 3D gear, uh, gear that I'm printing. It takes about five hours right now on that. And you can see, uh, right, this is the, uh, the, the head temp. It's 210. Uh, obviously it's in Fahrenheit. Uh, the bed is 50 degrees Celsius. And that's how much more left on the time. So we're 94% done. And it's a gear bearing in it. And do, this is the Z axis. So this is the Z axis right here and it basically goes up and down so that's that and there's some other things that's how long I've been running it for five hours and 11 minutes there's a lot of other things that I can tell you about it eventually um, there's gonna be a lot more videos coming out on just the how-to things now obviously I'm just a newbie at it so I don't claim to know any uh, not very much but some of the little things that I had troubles with and just little wonders I'm just gonna address in later videos but right now this is it I can show you some of the, this is actually the first thing I printed. Um, I was just kind of setting it up and, in, and there's some, in the menu right here, there's some pre, uh, pre, uh, uh, there's something, there's, there's um, basically some designs that are put on there already. So, and they're pre preset. So I just hit the button and it started working. And I think five hours later, it came out with a vase and it is very, very cool. Uh, very clean inside there and, 
I didn't I, I was just amazed and it's, it looks really cool now there's quite a few other things that I did I'm gonna be linking some some more videos of what I printed I printed some wings um, airplane wings and I'm gonna address that shortly in a couple other videos and in a couple other videos too I'm gonna show you exactly how I built it now obviously this one is built so I can't do a build video but I'm gonna go over the whole manual and kind of explain uh, what to do in any certain areas just the things that I was kind of wondering about and just addressing uh, the, this book is very very good on what it is very good help you shouldn't have any problems but just the little things that you want to and that you should be concerned about um, it, but overall it was a super fun build they have everything categorized exactly in each parts what you need uh, works out really you can't really you can't really lose any parts they have it very good it comes with all your all your tools and everything it works out really really well um, now they have the Z's on here um, they have every um, everything marked um, you should probably take them off but I just kind of like having them on there just so um, I can know what uh, what it is like here's the X and then back here uh, you can see is the Y back there's a motor down there and the E that's not an access but that's just the feeder for the filament so that's about it on this original i3 and I'll maybe put a link for their website maybe not I'm not sure exactly but my next video is gonna be talking maybe going through the whole step-by-step -step process on how I built it uh, it's just going to be looking on the computer and I'm just going to be pointing out different things so it might be relatively long and then I'm going to probably put another little link uh, showing you what my printer does for uh, making these big airplanes and that you can glue that's going to be my next video too so you can kind of see that other than that that's the review yeah please if consider this one the company is very good I'm very I'm very happy with this company and like I said it's not a Chinese company so that's really nice I like I like the quality that they put out now every part that they had was um was perfect um, was just perfect on it so all these printed parts they're all uh, they're all made out of uh, ABS and uh, really good uh, all, everything was very very clean and really no rough edges uh, everything was really good on that so anyways I'm gonna quit talking and I'm gonna get my next video out so thanks for watching